following program is rated R18+. Plus. May contain coarse language, sexual references, drug references, and a bunch of other shit. So if you're under the age of 18, get the fuck out. Can you read, my son? Well, that depends. Can you go fuck yourself? If you can fuck yourself, you can read fact. That's an interesting way to start it. Did you know that? No, uh, I didn't even listen. What'd you say? I said, I'm pretty sure I said, if you can read, you can fuck yourself. Or if you can fuck yourself, you can read fact. That's a lie. Not a lie? Uh, how you been, man? Have you ever wanked? I have. Proof is I've never case actually. closed. I'm one with God. <laughs> I don't believe in wasting. Goodbye. I'm good. How are you, bro? I'm very good, man. It's been yeah. another week. Uh-huh. Another fun one. Another one. Another one, yeah. Another one? Not Did you do anything? For myself. Oh. Yeah, same. Didn't do much. You know, we're on at that stage. It's the Easter weekend. <laughs> Yuck, um, dude. Yeah, so we got that weekend. Ooh. Most of us. Most of us, but me. Yeah, so we got same a few days shit. off. Same shit for me. Same shit. I still just more that. pay. <laughs> then my brother told me to include Easter in. I know. I did that this. for him. Shout out. Hey, there you go. <laughs> he said, "What does Easter mean to you?" Now I have the answer. More pay. Money, baby. Them, them money, double time. Baby. That double time. What's up? Exactly, man. That's all it is. No, for me, it's all about them Easter eggs. Damn. Love me some chocolate. You've been doing some foraging. Easter hunts? No, no, no. I've never done Fuck one of them in my shit. life, actually. Yeah. It's always just been... Neither. Wake up, eggs. It's probably... What? When I was it's younger... It's like a chocolatey Christmas. Yeah, when I was younger, Holy it shit. was probably one of my favorite holidays. <laughs> because it was just It wasn't chocolate. for me. Why? Because we didn't get all that much. We got maybe like a one hollow and Easter you, you went to probably, I, I assume, a church and all yeah. that. Yeah, yep. Uh-huh. No, see, with my family, we believe in... Raping not children. believing in, in anything. Oh, good. <laughs> so, good. Uh, we we just, you know, we woke up, yeah. saw some eggs waiting for us, possibly in our room or in the living room Aww. or whatever, Aww. and that was it. And Did we you ever do any other gifts? No, no, it was always chocolate. I've always heard about chocolate. like families giving their children gifts on Easter. Yeah. See, chocolate's the perfect thing because, oh, like for present-wise, because... It's not ex- super expensive. It's not mm-hmm. like it's Christmas and sure. you gotta, you know, you gotta spend much, but you can get a shit ton of it, and everyone can get it. It's it, so enjoyable. I love Christmas because it was tradition. The, all of the songs, the See, obviously the good Christmas vibes. was a favorite one, but oh, Easter, man. man, dude, Easter, you know what you're getting. You know you're not gonna be disappointed <laughs> by opening a present and it being some socks. Damn. You know it's gonna be some chocolate. You know chocolate's waiting for you. Uh, no. I no. did. This is why it was my favorite. Yeah. I but did. Halloween would have been awesome. What do you like on a birthday? I mean, birthday's Christmas for yourself. Is it the same? It's, for you? Yeah. Christmas for me is wake up, there's presents yeah. under the tree, then you have a good family breakfast, <sighs> maybe a family dinner later, and exchange more gifts. That's, Dude, it's just presents. I for love my family. Christmas is my favorite thing ever. Chris, Christmas is pretty cool. <laughs> Christmas, I just love the whole month of December, and I'm a winter guy. Yeah, you are. You're also a Christmas song guy. 
I you, love Christmas music. You start pulling them out whenever it gets cold. I pull them out mid to late November, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I pull them mid to late November. People be like, hey, man, it's too early. I'm like, hey, if you ain't getting in the spirit, you can go fuck well, yourself. Well, in my household, we, we like to keep our lights up for about three to four months <laughs> after Christmas is done. So yeah, we, we yeah, remember yeah. Christmas. It's not because we're lazy or anything. It's no. just we just miss the Christmas spirit. Am I a bit merging on Snapchat? Santa Claus Still wearing a Santa Claus yeah, fucking. Of course I'm staying there. jolly baby Gotta keep it that way I stay jolly <laughs> But speaking of holidays We don't have Halloween here Yeah That's probably the biggest crime I guess we're moving away As a young kid America would, Definitely man But it's it's gonna be a little awkward Some adults By themselves <laughs> Knocking on some doors Like I think we're past our We're prime. Australian It doesn't matter our Halloween prime People will understand no one will understand. They'll be like, what the fuck are you doing, man? No. I actually what did some trick-or-treating as, as a young Australian in Australia. I wasn't allowed. For you? I wasn't allowed. I mean, there's a point where you're about probably 5 to 12. Yeah. Or not 12, probably okay. 11 in Australia where sure. it's like, sure, sure, sure. You're a young kid, you can go out. Yep. And, you know, get mm-hmm. denied by about... 80% of the houses you go to yeah, because no one celebrates Halloween. Like you want some shapes. <laughs> Sorry? Shapes? You want some shapes? I That was actually a big thing. I've been to a few houses when I was younger where they would just give you their household <laughs> snacks. <laughs> just give you like... Your shapes, your, your your lunchbox materials, like just your little chips. Do you want a slice of cake? <laughs> I was offered cash once as a young child. They just said, here's some coins. Here's some dollars, man. Yeah. Here's I mean, your charity. Well, if, if someone uh, came knocking on your door, would you be prepared or would you just say no? No? Actually, you got the dogs to Yeah, the you, dogs... So no, no one's, one's coming into my you. fucking shit, yeah. man. The dogs bark their fucking heads off me. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah... Like, no one, no one wants Halloween, to Halloween, just like Easter, would probably have been one of my favourite holidays. Just, sure. as I said, with sure, the whole sure. chocolate food thing, like, you, you're getting free food, like... If you think about it... You got Easter's a beat at Halloween, in my opinion. Yeah, because it is. it's only chocolate, dude. It's only chocolate. Yeah, how did how did Easter even become? Who decided, hey, for this holiday... Christians, the Christians. The Christians, but how did it get from, like, what is it? <laughs> You're the Christian here. Whatever significant uh, Christianity... Former, former Christian. Former Christian here. Whatever, <laughs> for, like, Christianic event that it happened, how did okay. it get to, all right, to celebrate this? We're going to give kids chocolate eggs. I'm ready. Actually, this is my theory on it, to be fair. Oh, there's a theory. <laughs> I think the mainstream media made up Easter. And I think religion turned it into something else. Because they didn't want to condemn it. They wanted to go with it. But they wanted another way to... Um, I, I, specifically, I don't mean... Christmas, I, though? How I don't it's mean, become gifts? I don't mean the event. Because I think Easter itself does come from the death. But I think yeah. the eggs... They isn't turned that, into a thing. They Christmas? turned it. The death? No, that's his that's birth. That's the birth. Yeah, <laughs> man. People celebrating about a guy's death. And then death. Monday he he rises again. Yes, yeah, Sunday tomorrow. What's Monday then? The public holiday corresponding with Sunday. Oh, so we just got a free day off. Yeah. Damn right we do. That yeah. That's another plus. More money for you, I guess. I work less hours on Monday also. More money. I prefer more Anzac Day over Easter. Why is that? Because people actually put in effort for something. I mean, I don't know. In my household, we get eggs. That's a lot of effort. I had to go to the shops and buy eggs today. It's a lot of effort. Did you die for those eggs? I could have. You know, there's some bad drivers out there. Dude. <laughs> if I ran into a you on the road, maybe who knows what would happen. Me. Yeah, you. Uh, me. Only what? Because I, cause I blink every so often on a bend rather than a exactly. turn. Exactly. You don't. You don't indicate on those turns. It's not even a turn. I'll fuck you up. Anyway, I was, as I do every week, going through the internet. <laughs> and I, I ran into thing we do with the our time. Thing. Uh, I ran into a story about someone cracking their neck. Because it's, it's just a habit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which yeah. ended up That's my habit. Uh, rupturing a major artery and yeah. paralyzing her. I, I want to talk about this and too. And this was actually. a paramedic. I want to talk about this too. Okay, go on. It's an exception to the rule, and that's why I'm not going to stop cracking my neck. Exactly. Well, this is a paramedic, and 
that's that's something you do. So like, satisfying. I was thinking, and it's now <sighs> in that stage where it's it's like in a weird weather stage in Canberra, where yeah. it's like warm, cold. It's whatever you want it to be at the moment. Like okay. you, could, you could go out and anything. It's it's at that stage where it's cold. You know, we're into winter. How does this relate? <laughs> well, I have myself a strange habit or addiction. Yeah. Okay. okay. And <laughs> this has happened ever since I was young. <laughs> Can I just stop the podcast and say, well, what a fucking lead in. Thank you. <laughs> top top Thank notch. You. I, top I try really hard. Well, <laughs> that was sick. My strange addiction, and this is something that ever since I was young. Man, uh, you should be on the fucking I radio. Probably, I probably remember that. Uh, I know exactly where this started, but uh-huh. I sleep with a fan on every night. Ooh, it's cold. Yeah. So, it's it, cold. so right now in winter, I still got my fan on. I played Xbox with you the other day and I could hear that shit. Yeah, man, I have it on every time we play, so, so just electric, letting you know. Like, just massive bills for your parents, non-stop. I mean, I got I to gotta sleep with that fan on, dude. Yeah. It's just, it's become, I don't, and I can't tell you yeah. if it's the air, the uh-huh. cool air on my face that gets sure. me to sleep, or just it not being silent. Yeah, I have the same I think thing. it's a bit of both. Like, I hate silence. Like, silence when sleeping is scary, man. It's supposed to be natural to have silence when you sleep, but I also can't sleep when it's silent. I it's love to have sleeping. a voice when I'm sleeping. Well, I, it's my yeah. dad always said when it was raining, that's when he like yeah, it was bad. peak sleepness. Well, that, that's, that's why there's, there's that's why there's amounts of sounds on apps. There's I know. Apps for and I, my my father always got very mad at me because when I was younger, I would Fan get on. sick a lot. I just didn't want to go to school a lot of the time. Same, and same. you know what happens. You say you're yeah, sick. Yeah. And my dad would say, it's because of that damn fan. No, it's because I hate school, and dad. Yeah, it's just because I was like, no, nah, I got an assignment due. I ain't going to that shit. But really... You don't know. He don't fucking know. It, it probably does have a, lo- have a lot of problems with, right. obviously, cool air. But I think my body has adapted to it. Sure. Like, I have been having it ever since I was a young child. This, this thing has sure. been a part of my life. Right. So, anyway, I got curious and searched up on... I uh, read it, saw a few Go pages ahead. and whatnot of some of the strangest addictions. Let's hear it. Now, I've got some on the internet, but for those, everyone probably knows, this is a show called My Strange Addictions. Have you ever seen the show? No, I've heard of it, though. You've heard of it? Dude, this was... I this not going to lie to you. I loved this show growing up. Yeah? It's basically a bunch of crazy nice. people are celebrated and put on TV. <laughs> and I have seen a I'm few made of fun of by everyone. I have heard... Of, I have seen a few well, of I've Well, I've got some of the top 25 okay. people. Top 25? Well, we don't need to go through all of them. We'll yeah, just please. run through really quickly. Please. But some of this is just like... Read them to me. Let me hear them. Some of these are just like how and who My would let addiction. you get into this like part of your life. Like, like some of these are crazy. It's just not loading. I'm ready. I- yeah, I can read some online. Do you have any strange addictions or anything like that? Or some weird habit? I do some weird stuff. I've got a light one where... Whenever I drink a frozen Coke or something, I scrunch that shit up. Yeah, I fucking noticed that. You saw that. that, yeah. It's just because I like um, not the feel of it, just well, to, to I've crush actually it talked about up. this one. When I do drink out of a can, I always um, put a dent in it. And that's because my friend said that there was this drinking game. If you don't edit the container, you'll have to skull the whole thing. And ever since I've done that, I always scrunch it and then I always turn the cap on the top as well. I will say that is... So, so you've always just done that because of what one person is. It's been about a year. Um, do you do that at home now as well? I just do it whenever I have a can to drink out it's of. Just become second habit. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to scull a drink if you if you don't want to scull a drink. That is the only true. time you're sculling a drink is if you're sculling a drink. And I, he was like, "Listen, man, I know this game that, that's a thing, and we're gonna play it." Because we're at a thing. Oh, yeah. A- no anything bad. that gets you drunk quicker yeah. or gets other people fucked up is fun. Like, what's yep. it? There's always yep. the dominant hand one or whatever that shit is where it's like... Oh, dominant hand. Holding it in if you phone. are holding it in your dominant hand, you have to skull. Or your weak hand. Does someone have to say something for that? Yeah, time? someone goes up and says something. They're like, uh, dominant hand, boom. Yeah. I really love those games where you have like a ton of cups and shit. And you got to... There's this one with like... Beer pong? <laughs> No, I was gonna say there's like a if you can you can get a circle table. It's called stack cup. This is the one I'm thinking of. Stack cup, bunch of cups on the table. One in the middle that's full to the brim of just fucking hazardous, basically hazardous shit. 
and I was feeling. I went on a fucking trip with my football team. We're playing this, and I was filling up the bottle with like white rum, orange juice, cranberry juice. I'm just putting disgusting shit in there as like, as well as a beer, and then yeah. like some tequila shots to fuck it right up, all the way to the brim of the fucking red cup. Yeah. Basically, what happens is that there's two ping pong balls on either side of the table, and hopefully there's an even amount of people playing. So they're all a bunch of them centralized in the table, but you need like like 20 centimeters worth of space to bounce a ping pong ball up into a cup, right? Just at random? Yes. So it's like beer pong, but you're versing yourself. It's free for all, beer pong. Does one person know where... Okay, so you're trying to get it into one cup though. Yeah. It's right in front of you. It's straight up, bang, you got to bounce it up and in. If you get it first time, you get to place the cup that you've bounced it into to anyone. So when you get caught up, basically what happens is... First, first two guys drink, bang, and then <laughs> weird action. That's two people drinking. One here, one there. Yeah. Um, so what happens is if someone bounces a cup and they're like, say you're trying to bounce one in and I bounce one in and I put it in your stack, that means you have to drink another one and start a new stack. That's a lot of thinking that you've made me do, yep. but I'm, if I'm you, kind of getting if it. If you visual. bounce the ball into one of the middle cups, you have to drink that and then start your stack cup again. And keep going. Okay. And if you st- bounce it into the big one, I will say I've forgotten dead. how we've gotten to this point. We have straight off, but I, dude, I don't, yeah, you know, I don't remember either. Hmm. All I know is I've got a list in front of me, and I'm about to read it. <laughs> yeah. So, so, okay. so I think yeah, we, these are basically some of the strangest, strange, my strangest addiction show. Sure. So you've never seen this, so this will probably be quite a shocking to some of you. Okay. So the girl who likes to eat sand. Because of the crunch. This reminds me of... Um, what is that fucking movie? Little Rascals. And they make someone a sand sandwich. Oh, a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got Classic something kind of similar. I like to chew on like so, certain plastics. Like a straw. Yeah. Or something like that. I can just chew on while I'm doing whatever. You're killing the turtles, bro. Yeah, well, Fuck you. as you take a sip from a plastic straw yourself, mate. Uh, I request, if possible, evidence. Cardboard. Cardboard? Yeah, there's cardboard straws. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely weird. All right, the lady who liked to, pa- to drink paint because it felt like a thicker version of warm milk on her throat. I'd like to, I'd like them to create a second show where they go through all the people that have these strange addictions and find out and find out if they're still alive, <laughs> if they're still as fucked up as they are oh now. Oh my god, dude! What goes through your head where you first of all Thick taste milk. taste paint? Yeah, like who's taking sips of that, yeah. and then who allows you to continue drinking paint? <laughs> Hey man, they're there to observe, they're not there to fix you Give me some more, that's fucked up The lady who liked to chow down on rubber tyres Oh I mean, who doesn't like eating rubber tyres? I remember someone who used to eat a lot of deodorant but Deodorant? Yeah, deodorant, sticks of the old rub on deodorant You know how they come in like an oval Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah. Oh god I haven't seen too many, but one of them is eating fucking deodorant yeah, why would you do that? So you know someone that actually does this? No, it's just on... Oh. I, I saw an episode. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, th- that's what, like, how people are, are on this show. It's just fucked up. Fucking weird shit. Give me some you more. Know, people eating... She likes to eat cat food. Who doesn't? Back to the sandwich maneuver from the Little Rascals. Yeah. The person that likes to eat cat's fur and sometimes eats it straight from the sauce. Yeah, that happens. I'm feeling a little unwell. I'm going to have to cancel this podcast. Thanks for coming. Well, um, do you want to finish it with the guy who likes to eat glass? That's also a thing. Is it real glass? Oh, yeah. How Enjoys many? It. How how it's does consumed he... consumed more than 250 light bulbs how? and 100 glasses. How? How? He how? started how? eating glass what? four years ago. What was his reason? I don't know. See, how do you get in this situation where you think... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat some glass and see how it goes down my throat. Yeah, I don't like it. Probably dead now. Who knows? Hope so. <laughs> the woman who is addicted to smelling gas. Dude, I get that, actually. <laughs> yeah, isn't that like... 
like already like a problem though like that yeah, people shun, should like, be getting high as fuck yeah exactly like Dude, my dad knew a guy who used to be high as fuck because his van used to like leak the gas into his um yeah, yeah, yeah. his chamber what's it called? he never fixed it because he was so happy <laughs> he's all the just time. like what's up dog <laughs> yeah uh, the, Any other good ones? Yeah, the guy who ate plastic bags. Oh, what the fuck, man? Oh, this one's great. The women who the woman who is addicted to uh, dirty diapers. Because who doesn't no, enjoy chewing and sniffing them? As you do. She ate dirty diapers. Yeah. Poo in- included? I assume that's why they're dirty. She chewed on them. I don't know if she actually How is that not number them. one, the weirdest one? That just shows how fucked this show is. Does it get weirder now, or does it get... The lady who snorted five ounces of baby powder per day? I don't know if it gets weirder or not. They're all just strange. I don't. I think this is just a list. This is probably the episode list, to be keep honest. Keep going. Just keep going. So, the guy who got really personal with uh, inflatable... Oh, animals. actually, that one went viral. That one has gone viral, What about yeah. the guy that used to fuck his cars? That is, yeah, people have relationships and, with oh, items. a lady who loved a, a, thing. a lighthouse. She was in yeah, love yeah. with a lighthouse. Yeah. She was trying to get married. Well, that's actually a thing. People actually form relationships and are sexually attracted to objects. Any objects that get your fancy? Mm. That Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> that 2K game? Listen, man, I, um, I form bonds with personalities. And objects. Are you objectifying women? No, no. I'm, whoa, you I, whoa that went that went to a different <laughs> holy shit. God um give me more. The woman I, I'm still the woman, interested. Oh, I'm fucking this up. The woman who was addicted to eating rocks. She had diamonds for teeth. Oh dude, imagine just chewing your teeth How? like How that. Fucking all day. Doing that man. Go on. Give me another one. The give lady me more. who took her pillows everywhere. No. You've gotta keep them close. Oh. <laughs> Gotta keep him close. What's up? Tell me more. Tell <laughs> the me woman more. who is addicted to being a baby. That's the thing. People dress up and they like. That's kind of similar to it's fetish. It's a fetish. Being like people that like to be abused. Hundred percent. It's, it's a fetish. It's some odd fetish. Dude, fetish is strange as fuck. It's probably even more scary. The person that actually is on the other end that enjoys seeing okay. their partner in the being acting like it's a baby. Pedophile. Exactly. That's. Okay. Yeah, that's fuck. fuck. Speaking of these weird habits, yeah. Okay, here's questions for you. Would you rather eat old diapers or be the partner that has to be a baby? That has to be the baby. And thinking, my or partner's eat, a pedophile. Or eat dirty diapers. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Or eat one dirty diaper. Only eat one dirty diaper. Uh huh. Or, or be trapped in a relationship with what <laughs> seems to be a pedophile for the rest of my life. I yes. think I'm going to try a, di- a dirty diaper. What are you? Are you <laughs> ready to commit to this man or woman that enjoys you acting like a child? It has to be a really hydrated wee <laughs> from the fucking diapers, bro. Yeah. Who uh, knows? Maybe you'll get addicted to it. Maybe that's how this woman has suddenly became addicted to chewing or sniffing <sighs> dirty diapers because she was given this ultimatum. That makes me so sick, too. I mean, I think the thing that freaks me out the most is how they got to this stage. Especially the dirty diaper one. How did she... She was probably changing maybe her baby and just enjoyed the smell or some shit. <sighs> what happens when her children grow up? She's like, can you still please wear the diaper? <laughs> I need it. Please, you're not ready for the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm 17. I'm moving out. Mom. <laughs> no. As if they're living to 17 years old, bro. They're being taken away way before that. Yeah, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to get out of that situation. She's lurking at the local orphanage. Got any diapers? Yeah, she's I'll adopting give you 50. kids just I'll for that. I'll donate. Right. I'll donate 50 bucks hey, for those diapers right there. I know how much of a hassle. Everyone hates dirty diapers, so let me take out the trash for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll get rid of them. I, yeah. I'll do it for you. I I'll, know. Like, I'll, If you want me to come in and get them off like, yeah, from the source. Like, just straight up. You I'll know. just pick them up. Surely she gets the clean, daddy. Like the clean ones that are used. Mate, I don't, I, Surely the clean but used ones. And that mate, I feel like that stems diaper. from pedophilia too. Uh, that could Private. just be a weird fucking person though that has smelt. Like people enjoy weird smells, man. That's a thing as well. I do enjoy my weird smells. I'd be sniffing my any? ball sack, huh? All right, well, that, enough said. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to know that was satire, bro. <laughs> enough said. 
the woman who munched on her mattress, Ooh. as yeah, you do. I've heard of that. I think she just rips off foam bits. Oh yeah. Go on. The guy who was obsessed with becoming a mermaid. <laughs> People do that. There, you can now buy on like Amazon or wherever yeah, you're looking. You like can't live underwater suits. though. I mean, t- future dude. You reckon in the future we'll be able, we'll have something where you can like. Ten years are all dead. Ten years, Ten years are all, all dead. dead. Is that? Ten years are all dead. Why? Why is that? Guaranteed. Uh, global warming. <laughs> the lady who liked to drink air freshener. <sighs> When it's so fresh, you want to be fresh all the time. You yeah, go, I want to taste that fake Everglades I wonder shit. what her breath smells like. <laughs> Probably too much. Just, she's just like, We'd be walking <gasps> in. Oh, it's Lavender's just, here. Ooh. That's not her name. That's just the brand she likes. <laughs> that's just the that's just the flavor she appreciates the most. It becomes her nickname. Lavender. Come right, here, Lavender. Last one. The lady who, ha- who was addicted to drinking her pee. Oh, get it off. Get that's it off. called, that's Bear Grylls. <laughs> That's Bear grills for you. Okay, which yeah, fucking he he he's probably likes doing that shit. <laughs> That's a dead mean, bro. The reason I tried to do a would you rather is, and I don't think you noticed, is because I have a bunch of them here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna read some. Let's hear them. <laughs> uh, would you rather be ugly but smell amazing, or handsome, and or be handsome and beautiful but smell bad? Be handsome and beautiful, and smell or. Bad. Get the worst of both worlds and be Post Malone. <laughs> a bit of both. Yeah. I mean, Post Malone gets everyone there. He smells like shit, apparently. Apparently. And also, he looks ugly. I'd rather... He's definitely I'd rather be the handsome guy that smells bad. You can always just buy some How fucking bad? deodorant. No, I think that's the point. Right, you well, can't I mean, improve your smell. Well, in Post Malone situation, if he really fucking cared that much, he can change that shit instantly. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. Because, like... You know, you could run into that partner that likes to smell dirty diapers and, like, smelling bad could go your favour. <laughs> like, it could it, it could be fine. Yeah. I don't know. Uh-huh. Th- then again, imagine walking into a building and just everyone going, like, fuck. Yeah. You probably don't want that, so... I don't mm. know. I've, I'm definitely attracted to good smells. So if you're ugly but you smell good, I'm still I'm There's still a lot down. of shallow people out there though that would just be like, eh, yeah, fuck it. Fair. I I'd probably personally go with if if you, I assume you can smell yourself as well, so you always just smell shit. <laughs> you'd probably go with the the nice smell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see some more. I probably would go with the same one. Here's a difficult one for you. If you had to fuck two people and their combined age was 28, how old would each one be? Oh my god, <laughs> that is so fucked up that I can't answer. There's a loophole. What, 28 and zero? Like, they don't exist? Basically, a, a very, like a nine month pregnant 28 year old would be the one I would do. It's basically a person by now. I guess. I guess okay. I do that as well. It, but they share the functions, so they would share you, the vagina. Would you ever, so, so you're saying, you, would you sleep with a pregnant woman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you would absolutely. I would sleep with absolutely. a pregnant woman. I'm not going to. That's gonna, probably one of your things. Why is it weird to fuck a pregnant woman? They need it's love. It's not. Man. I mean. How dare you, man? Oh, my God. Is this just podcast going to be me just, <laughs> just like, you claiming trapped. I'm fucking yeah, me sexist just and me. shit? Yeah. <laughs> would you rather give up access to the internet or access to motor vehicles? Oh. Oh, that's one legit tough. Oh, man. Imagine you have to go overseas, bro. You can't. I mean... <laughs> oh, this is sucks because it's like... Do you want to live inside the rest of your life? And live in online? Or just fucking live in the world without internet? I'm probably going to have to say it's... Would you rather give up? I'd probably have to give up internet. I think you'd have to. Yeah. Like, you can't do anything. Like, what are you going to walk like seven hours to, to work? To go to work, yeah. Work for eight hours, then walk back seven hours to get on the internet for two hours and go start <laughs> your next walk. True. Although your your job could be the internet if you fix it up. Yeah, I guess. But, but then there's still no way to get anyway. imagine like trying to go on a date. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll come, come walk to my by house. your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can get lift, but. Uh, I think it's just give up. Give up like access. Access. Access, so you can't even go on your mates. I think maybe... No, no, no. I, <clears throat> bro, it's tough. It's tough, but you got to give up the internet. Even though 
Who doesn't love the internet? Yeah, true. Would you rather get stuck at all red lights in traffic or having cl- incredibly slow dial-up internet after dark? Oh, man, is it just going to be like us confessing our love to the internet for like an hour? <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Man, I love the internet. Dude, I love it. I think I'd have to, what, slow traffic? Fuck, dude. I have to Dude, imagine to slow every- internet, though, like loading uh, a picture f- like... Dude, it it's not worth it for me because I spend most of my day at work too. So I just make it red lights. Red lights all day. I'm going to have to leave for just work an hour freeway. early. But just yeah. I mean, got to do it. All red lights. It, it'll add like a minute per red light. Oh, yeah. Say, a minute per red light. You'll, so for you'll, me, it would add so about 15, 20 after minutes. After a while, you'll know where, which is the best route with no lights and get there <laughs> at a reasonable time. I'll be very, I'll be speeding yeah. my light. You'll, you'll know all the routes around here and be like, where are we going? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to take left here. Avoid that light. <laughs> that becomes you. Left, 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 left. You're just doing left, left. left. UE. All the roundabouts left. ever. <laughs> yeah. You're just constantly going around doing yeah. nothing. And they're like, why are, you, why are you driving like this, man? I can't, I can't ever get a green light. It's a curse. I think I think dial up internet would just kill me. Like <laughs> Yeah. Slow internet is the worst thing. Yeah. Like, I think it tests your patience more than anything. Oh my ever. god. I think I, we're at the stage as well where nearly yeah. everyone's internet is at a point where it's quite fast. Like if you go to anyone's Even internet, hours you can kind with a bad of, ranking. You can kind of watch a video with that freeze. But I remember yeah. back in the day where to Buffer. watch a video to pause dude, it at the Oh start. my god, it buffered every time. Yeah, you'd pause at the start, give it yeah. a fucking head start <laughs> <laughs> so that it would buffer like halfway through but not at the start. Yeah. Those are the fun. days. Okay. Would you rather have to sprint every time you see your legs no matter the distance? Uh, sorry, see your legs. Use your legs. Would you, would you rather have to sprint every time you use your legs no matter what or have to yell every time you want to you wanna say something? <laughs> oh, God. See, the, the loophole is you could just be in a fucking wheelchair. For certain things But just imagine like You're going for a job interview And they're like Right in here And you just fucking Yeet. Start sprinting at Yeet. them uh, Yeah it's, it's, Or even just being in a line And just having to like having Sprint really for like 0.7 cent Like Half a <laughs> meter Every time like, Oh my just god just be that freak <laughs> Then you get like yelling You could just be like Pretend it's you're so deaf or cringy, something so cringy dude Just imagine having to sprint from Woolies to your car or from, from I imagine your car that's to how like, Dwight Howard does it. Dwight? What? <laughs> Dwight Schrute. <laughs> Dwight Schrute. <laughs> not, not the NBA player. Dwight Howard that I'm just thinking about like a all. big black man that is like <laughs> his relative. Dwight Schrute. I just pictured him running. We watched The Office recently. That's why it's, it's fresh in the mind. <laughs> I'm just picturing actually the, you know, from but Get Out. literally both. The guy that just sprints. It. I <laughs> just sprints at the camera. Just you having to do that every time. <laughs> okay. You need to watch Get Out, man. Quite great film. Would you rather know you're going to die? Oh, sorry. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? How you're going to die or when? Oh, when would be so, so painful. How you're going to die is like... I don't know. Imagine like it being like in a car accident. Would you just fucking stop driving? You probably could still get hit by a car. True. Well, with when though, like if you had to choose, I'd be choosing how rather than how? when. How? Yeah. It'd be great if it was like like if it's something like natural causes. You're like, all right, I'll just live my life like normal. Like I don't care. But if it was like something like you died <laughs> by a shark, it's you're suicide. like, fuck. Okay, I'm never going to that ocean again. Yeah. I don't know. I probably would go with how. Yeah. Just because when would be so scarily. Like, if you were given I mean, a although you years, would have no fear of mortality, you could also That's just true, dude. Shit. Maybe when would be sick. You'd just be like living the best life for, yeah. for them. Yeah. Knowing you're not going to die. Imagine it's a week, though. Yeah, in a week. I mean. Yeah. I mean, that sucks. But even if you were to learn how you'd die, you're still going to die in a week. Just to those causes. Yeah, what if you're already sick with, like... <laughs> you're already it? sick with you're cancer, gonna die and they're like, you're going to die of cancer, and you're like, fucking thanks. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I have terminal cancer. <laughs> you haven't helped me. <laughs> you're like, I clicked the fucking... I clicked, I clicked when? The when. I didn't know I clicked how when. Have. They're like, how? <laughs> <laughs> they're how? like, terminal cancer. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> the doctor's already told me this. I wanted another year, you motherfuckers. Thinking about it, doctors actually kind of do that. Yeah. Question for you. They, they tell you like they're often you've got wrong. They're often three wrong. months to live. Yeah, they're often wrong, which yeah. is a good thing. I mean, 
Oh, well, <laughs> about times about yeah. like how long you'll live. With, when doctors do do that, however, do they? Do you reckon they give you the minimum or like the maximum? Like, oh, you're going to live the for minimum. three months. They would rather you be disappointed when you're talking to them rather than yeah. how soon someone dies. Yeah, definitely. As a man, would you rather have a fully functioning penis on your forehead or no genitals at all? No genitals at all. Wear a headband, bro. Oh, my God. Imagine just having, like, eventually... Rolling around looking like a Sikh. Did it say <laughs> on your forehead? Yeah. I'm just slicking dude, just that Just imagine having back. a bulge on your forehead. I'm slicking it back, and I'm getting a Sikh wrap, dude. Dude, you look like... And then, why? I still want to fuck a bitch. I'm assuming you I'm don't have... I'm sitting You don't have your genitals <laughs> down there anymore. <laughs> Pissing. Got to do it. Well, I assume you don't have your genitals down there anymore. It's just sure. moved here or not, none at all, right? I think you just... When you piss, it just it comes out of a hole in your crotch. If you've got none. It's not a vagina, but, you, but it you, is I'm a saying hole. if you choose your head, you've got nothing down there. It's just on your head now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'd just get rid of it. Like, it's no worth up there. Yeah. Like w- You can still fuck bitches, though. You just have to have a... Sh- no girl room. is going to... You're not going to... So, you're hiding it from a girl, right? You've fetishes. Got it, you've got it in there. And fetishes. you're like, all right, we're in the bedroom now. Absolutely. Let fetishes. me show you something and please tell me you're okay with it. Like, they're going to be like, fuck Nah, me. you got to own it and then get those fetishes. <sighs> girls, are, girls are fucking crazy, man. <sighs> it's true. Maybe you'd be famous for it. The kind of <laughs> the guy with a dick, dick on his on face. His head. Hey, dickhead! <laughs> hey, man, come on. Hey, man, that's it's not by choice. Leave we me don't. Alive. We don't use that word around here anymore. All right, I'm that's gonna give you one more. All right, let's hear it. Would you rather come every time you fart, or fart every time you come? Come every time you fart, or fart every time you come? Probably fart every time you come. Yeah, because <laughs> you can kind of control when you're coming. Oh yeah, it'd, it'd be fun. You'd have to like you'd have to have someone that can accept it. Be like, oh, I fought it. I mean, it's not even the worst thing in the world. Like you could do do it with someone and not tell them, and they would be like, <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a little weird. You could just say, I'm sorry, I accidentally fought it. But if you're exactly. having a relationship, then then so. it's like, yeah, then then it's at that point where you probably got to say something. I can't help it. I fight when I come. Yeah, it'd have to be that. I, I reckon there's probably someone out there in the world that actually does that. Yeah, it's just probably. a part of them. <laughs> That's just what they do. Imagine the pickup lines. I fart when I come, but if you want to smell my odor, I come mean, over. the dirty diapers girl will be all over that. Ah, uh, uh, you hate it every time I mention it's that. It's so gross. I have like, I, I hate diapers. Oh, I've got yeah. nieces and nephews, dude. Uh, there's only one person that likes diapers. Yeah, true. But like, oh, sorry. I was like, I thought your chair was closer, and I was just gonna land, yeah, land my hand on it. It's weird now that I've done this whole thing, and now you said it out loud. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd clarify why I went just like this and brushed yeah, my so. hand on you, and now they know. And now you know. So I have a weird habit. To this I brush audio. Toby when we do a podcast. Exactly, he does it under the table. Normally, it was kind of weird that he did it out there. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dirty cunt. Have you got any more? Or is that nah? That you got? But I got some bad pickup lines. Of course you do. You got them out of your personal account? or Yeah, these all belong to me. Yes. Yeah. You know, 80% of people masturbate in the shower. Do you know what the other 20% do? Not working on anyone. You say no. No. You must masturbate in the shower. <laughs> it, doesn't it. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do you know any? No. 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 These are I've never used a pick uh, like these. something like that on a on a girl before. Okay, have you? <laughs> I've definitely like in person. Sorry, I've definitely, like not online. I've definitely said like icebreakers and oh, online absolutely because oh, yeah. online Tinder it all used to be a pickup you. line sport. For me, I mean, all right, yeah. you testing me, boy. What's the last thing I said to a woman? Yeah, no, the start though. Okay, well, what's the last time I opened a conversation? Yeah. See you at Mooseheads this weekend. <laughs> That is a cheesy pickup line. It's not. Yes, it is. That's because like an bio, icebreaker and it's her like... Her bio says, you'll find me in Mooseheads. It's still like a cheesy pickup line. It's not cheesy, man. Yes, it is. It's it very cheesy be. that you've used something It's not a pickup line. A pickup line has to be an indication that I want to take you home. All I'm saying is, see you there. <laughs> so I can take you home later, is what practically what you're saying. That's not what I said. I just said, I'll see you there. Oh, you're going you're gonna to sound innocent in all these. Pretend you're innocent. All right, let's go to another one. All right. The best 
bio of all time, you inspire me to be better. I mean, yeah, Sorry, well. Grace, that was poor. Let's try Kirby. Kirby, shout out. Hey, you have some cute photos. God damn. I'm exposing myself. Man. You're my first match since I changed... You're my first match since I changed my bio. Can I get a rating from you? She said, in all honesty, I don't look at the bio. Fuck! God <laughs> Fuck you, Hannah, you Mate, bitch. they're not pickup lines, but they are cheesy, what you say. They're just... Yeah, they're just cliche. What else can you do? Want to shoot hoops? What? <laughs> Wait, oh, what's her bio? God. I'm pretty sure it had to do... But usually I... You only... think a lot about these, don't you? Usually I just do what's based on their bio, bro. Yeah, I just say shit related to the play. Dude, you should this this week all your matches just try say, and start conversations with these worst pickup lines okay, what, what, or anything like that. Oh. And then next week we should try and go through the results. <laughs> okay. But does that mean I have to right swipe everyone? I guess so. <laughs> like you don't do that already. <laughs> I definitely don't. I'm hella picky. Uh, sure. I am. I mean Why have I even started swiping? Yeah. He's already started. <laughs> next week's gonna be a banger. <laughs> Fuck up. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite. You were like, so I got. Uh, so I'll use matches. all the ones that are in here. <laughs> all right. Do you want to? Do you want to tell us some of I'll these just now? Use, so we get used I'll to just them? use all of these. All right. I put the STD in stud. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Want to watch porn on my flat screen mirror? <laughs> that one. No, no, damn, hey, these girl, are good, man. Damn girl, do you shit with that ass too? <laughs> Oh, shit. I hope we get some good results next yeah. week. From In this. accordance with Megan's law, I have to tell you I'm a convicted sex offender. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't turn this rape into a murder. Oh. Whoa. We're yeah, tr- let's skip that one. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, were both your parents retarded? Because you sure are special. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, that one's going to go well. Fuck. No, 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 trust me. You'll get plenty of matches, mate. Uh, more, more. Greetings, milady. Tips fedora, flips hair, scratches neck, beard, and level up. <laughs> That'd work. <laughs> That'd work with any girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> you want to be disappointed later tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, I'm so looking forward to now you having to use this. Fuck you, dude. And now that we've said this, you yeah. have to do it. Okay, except for the... The really bad oh yeah, yeah, you can pick, but they have to be like some of the cheesy ones <laughs> yeah. as well. Throw them in yeah. there. I have to, and they got to be on that page. I have to tell you the next two because they're some of my favorites. All right, let's hear them. I need some pussy, and I know you've got it on you. <laughs> that these are some great ones to be fair. And want to go halvesies on a bastard? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> let's get pregnant, man. We're Hi, gonna, babe. We're gonna figure out that these actually work, and then next week, like next week, I'm not gonna on. be here. You're just gonna be here, like, it's like so. Caleb got too much, too much pussy, and, and now, now he's alone. famous in the camera, uh-huh. the local camera. Area. I'm still, we're still recording at yours, and we just hear you in the background. I'm like, oh god, why is he? <laughs> it's just so. <laughs> Toby, <laughs> Toby, can you go buy me some condoms, please? I've already created a bastard. Oh god. Um, these are the last two. Yeah. Hey, babe. My name's Joe. Remember it because you'll be screaming it later. Ooh. And and this one's a banger. I'm Batman. I don't like that no, one. No, neither do I. Yes. <laughs> I tried it on for size. Didn't work. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so I'm keen for that one. Um, That'll be fun. Seeing what the results. Ho- I hopefully just re- we get some interesting. Should I remove my current matches and do it from scratch? I mean, it depends. What you, it depends what you. It's up to you. As long as next week we can kind of see some of them. What we'll do is you'll have to be the girl voice though. Yep. I'll accept that. Yeah. Okay. But I won't. I won't be putting on a girly girly voice. I'll just have to read what she says. Nah. Commit. Commit. Nah. Give me your best girl voice right now. No. Maybe we'll <laughs> save that for next. No. Week. No. no. <laughs> give me, just give me a little. No. I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're just a woman saying no. Yeah, Everything's going to be a rape. When a woman says no, you stop. All right? All right. Do you want to do the girl voice? I'll do you. No, no. Nah, That's probably less shameful. So, Because you know what you've said. True. So. Nah, you, we'll you a bitch. You got to do it. Fuck nah. you. One thing I do want to talk about is this fucking church burning down. Yeah, that's been blowing up. I mean... <laughs> 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 Fuck Notre Dame! Whoa, uh, no, that was a bad play on words that I did not mean. Fucking blow it up! It is, it is blowing up though, like all over social media because because it's shit. Oh my, 
No, oh, okay. see, it's the like such a bad thing. Yeah, but no, what's shit about it is that people are donating for its rebuild, and mm. still. There's so many things that <laughs> need money in the world. Yeah. And they're I just like, oh, here's a building that doesn't like fucking matter. Millions. It's got millions. 600 million w- in the fund already. Yeah. And it's How worth much 30 the church billion. Have as well? It's worth 30 bill. The church. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Do I understand, though, that they, the people want, you know, that's such a historical thing there. In no one goes. Country and it's whatnot. not used as a church anymore. Yeah, well, whatever it's used for. I mean,. Once Personally, it's destroyed, why would why rebuild it? It's gone now. Yeah, That's part maybe, of its beauty, maybe, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Notre Dame too. Make it better. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Give give the money from that to the people in uh, Flint that don't have clean water. And in Africa that are malnourished. I 600 mean, mil would make a fucking dent I know. on that problem. I mean, money could go anywhere, though. You could say a million, like... It's like True. some people sure. are just pledging money. Just for send them they fucking love. a ton of rice and some corn. Caleb has just single-handedly solved world hunger on this podcast. It doesn't take like rice. Rice as a dry substance doesn't go bad for a long time. Mm. I mean, they could eat. I understand everything you said. Yeah, I, but I understand. It's just why bullshit people that they choose still the, donating. I, for that, it's just shit that they choose that. Yeah. Why? A lot if of people so have much come money. Out and why? Said, like, sure, it's great that people are pledging all this money, but there's still like all yeah. this shit wrong in the yeah. world, and the church is already so rich. Like, yeah, if they want to rebuild it, they and can they're rebuild mostly it pedophiles, with their money. huh? Okay, now this is going such. You're just like <laughs> it's true. All guns. <laughs> this is why Andy wouldn't let me brand on his chest. I understand this now. <laughs> Shout out to Andy. I love that guy. Uh, He's not going to watch this, bro. I know. I just I just like to give people shouts. Man. To uh, inform the listeners, Andy is a streamer who I'm referring to. We're not going to say his full name because we're not doing free advertisements. However, he is an NBA 2K streamer. And basically, I asked him for permission to donate money, which is part of his campaign. Um, donate money to get a tattoo on his character's chest with a podcast name on it. And he requested to see some content and denied the request. I understand that. Listen, he's got a fucking audience, and I respect that. However, swear. Swear. That's my only problem. Swear. 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 Every man to their own. King off. Friggin. Frick. F up. Man, you really saying all your feelings today on on the church now, Andy, man. Man, I... Do you remember the episode called Fuck George Pell? George Pell, no. No. He's the like the one of the highest rated Australian priests of all time. And he got like six years in prison for molesting six choir boys. Yeah? Yeah, there's a full episode on that. Yeah, I don't watch your podcast, bro. So <laughs> I don't I don't, know I don't your watch your Sorry, podcast. Bro. Only since you've been on it, which is pretty conceited, if you ask me. Uh, I don't even listen to them. I just like, yeah. <laughs> fuck I'm it. Here as a, I'm here as a fucking... I was, I was there to hear it. I don't need to hear it again. You're so rude, dude. No, nah, of course. I love the podcast, man. Do love you? what you're doing. You love what I'm doing? Uh, you're going to love I don't agree week. with all the words. Yeah, I am. You don't have I'm to agree with me. You've got your own opinions. Yeah. And you did bring this up, but with it, I do want to bring it up with the listeners, not that there's many of them. <laughs> Where am I? minority? That's bad. Listen, Toby brought up the fact that he wants, he thinks that we could be better served by a different name of the podcast. Possibly. I mean... Can you go through your I reasons just, why again, please? Well... <laughs> He's really throwing me under the bus here. No, well, I just think it's good to... If if what you say resonates with other people, we can start a movement and find out what's a better well, suit firstly, for our I brand. Don't, I don't have any other names. Uh, yeah, that's say. fine. Okay, but... I just think R18 Plus podcast, like, it's cool and the idea, but, like, uh, what happened? What about them 16-year-olds, man? Fuck them 16-year-olds. What 16 about year those other guys? What Are they legal? We're not fucking them. You don't fuck the listeners. It's nothing. It's got nothing to do with fucking. I'm anyone. not opposed to fucking my fans, Toby. I'm not opposed to that. In fact, I have done that. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a fan. <laughs> this is why I don't listen to podcasts because I don't want to be fucked. I didn't say I was gonna fuck every fan. My dick would exactly, already be so sore. So what's wrong with people? Like I don't know. I just okay. I just think 
Okay, it down, does. It R-18 does say. It does say be over the age of eighteen. But also, I do say that in the intro. However, what what were you doing when you were sixteen? I was at school. And after that, what were you doing on the internet? Uh, I was probably watching YouTube or something like that. <laughs> this bullshit on your face! You look like such a liar right now. Man. You know, dude. I waited till I was old? eighteen. No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Whenever they gave me the notification, I said, "No, I cannot access this until I'm of proper age." <laughs> I, I did what was required. So, when you yeah. were sixteen, how many times do you think you logged into Pornhub? I never logged in. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, well, got- well, firstly, who has a Pornhub account or anything like that? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not I'm still on that free shit. Yeah, I'm still on that free shit. I know you watched porn below the age of eighteen. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, but so like, what's to stop still, them from listening to this? That porn anything, isn't called R eighteen plus videos porn. Usually, there's an entrance to the porn Sometimes. side that says if you're a, you you must be eighteen I'm years up and of down old. About that All you have to do is click that. And I've okay I've said button. this to you before. Yeah. And now we're talking about it right on the podcast. So I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. I get Maybe it. Who could I get think it. of some cool names? You, so basically, the motive is you want to be more audience friendly. Yeah. More brandable. Yeah. Like on this podcast so far, I think we've talked about a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And like, we like adult themes. Yeah, and maybe it could be called adult themes. Maybe, but then I'm getting. Still I no. don't feel like an adult myself, so <laughs> to be have a podcast where we talk about adult themes. Adult just, themes. Yeah, you don't have to be an adult to be to, to speculate about adult themes. Yeah, drugs, alcohol, sexual references, swearing, saying fuck a lot. I don't know. Sense I brought it shit, up once, and I don't know. I don't know it's, how I feel about I, it's it. positive. It's like fair. It's a, yeah, I just I wanted to bring it up because if anyone has any ideas, true, please hit us up. Sorry, I had to burp. If you're viewing this through video, you would have seen me. I could do it again. Never mind. Wait, because last time, like all the first time we said, I won't burp in the mic anymore. I'm avoiding that. So you learn. It's good. <laughs> I'm training him well. Soon he won't be fucking his listeners anymore. Thanks I absolutely me. will fuck my fans. If we get like 100 mil fans. Jesus, views, you're just, you. <laughs> all I'm saying is like YouTubers get famous. All I'm saying is I'm still going to fuck the fans. All right. I'm, I'm not going to not service my fans. Bro. I mean, it's not. It's no, no problem with that. Let them know. All right. I'm going to impregnate all my fans. All right. Maybe not. Maybe oh, not. Maybe not. <laughs> so you're going to have more fans than more. <laughs> and <then> more. <laughs> now I'm your fans. <laughs> oh, that was too loud. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, that's why that was. I mean, it's definitely, yeah, but some cool suggestions. Obviously, I don't have any. I, I like the name to to the extent. I've just, I have brought it up. Yeah. I said. And I did and say, I, I said name. in response that, like, I'd do this for a year and then we could revisit it. But yeah. I'm looking at but now. Like, you're revisiting it now, so I am revisit revisiting it. it because I want to know, like, if other people have the same opinion. Yeah, and I if mean, people think that there's a better way to brand this, I'd absolutely, especially early on, find yeah, a new way to do it. I like that. You know, new, new type of podcast. I'm I'm helping co co-host it, so it's cool if you know. Yeah, things just to clarify, the title is co-host host. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's co-host co-host. No. So I'm co-hosting with no one else. You're the co-host. You're the host. I'm the host. Yeah. She. <laughs> I gotta go. Tell me. I won't be here next week. Uh, Fuck this shit. Hey man, I'm kidding, man. Yeah, whatever. I'm my co-host. What's up? <laughs> so, um, new name coming soon. Oh <laughs> fucking hell! Don't commit no, to that, no, man. No, we, I was. I was can you be certain? Joking. No. Can we? What about? <sighs> McDonald's <laughs> ice drinkers. Man, see, I want to scrunch that, man. Just Fuck you. my man. strange addiction, man. Don't touch that shit. Anyway, so we're wrapping man, this bitch I up. I didn't even give you a strange addiction. What I, what's my strange addiction? You didn't. I mean, it's not strange. I just wank a lot. Every morning, every night. And that's what we're going to end on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that that doesn't surprise me. Maybe we do need to keep this name with you on the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Because the demographic has got to be over 18. Well, the I demographic can't can be whatever. Well, you okay, don't get to no, choose that. No, let me clarify. Let me clarify. It has to be advertised as that. Because to be fair, we do talk about things that probably younger kids aren't ready for. 
And so parents need to be wary that uh, there's a guy out here talking shit like this. No, I don't. I don't, you don't agree? No. You can't choose your demographic. No, that's true. But if a kid is independent enough to find this and commit to listening to it... Then you can't shun him. Yeah, he's mature enough to do it. And metaphorically, he's 18 years of age. Yeah, but just... He's mature general, enough. I don't know. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah, if there's any suggestions... It's an open topic. Like it. yeah, it's cool. The conversation about this is not over. I'm sure we'll talk about it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, thank you, my guy Sohan and Just Grow for the intro and the outro music. Check him out on SoundCloud and Facebook. If you want to get in contact with me or my co-host Toby, <laughs> you can match it with him on Tinder. Because <laughs> he'll or, definitely or, be there, swiping Toby's, right on everyone. Or Toby's co-host me. Um, That's go to right. SoundCloud. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Fuck. Good work. Fuck SoundCloud. We're cutting oh, no, sound. No, no. Yeah, we're taking it out. Hold on. Spotify. Yeah, we on we on everything good except for SoundCloud. Ooh. SoundCloud fucked us over. I'm not paying sixteen dollars a month for that shit. Anyway, we're on everything good. We're on Apple Music. Have tested it. You could test it out if you wanted. I'm on uh, Spotify. I'm on <laughs> Google nah. Podcasts. Nah, don't give a fuck. Nah, uh, on. We're on Instagram. Uh, we're on Facebook. You can find us there. Um, I'm gonna stop saying my email address because it's actually part of some official shit now. So don't email that. Don't email that. Uh, just leave me the fuck alone so I can get my shit done. Um, Fair enough. Thank you for listening. Have you got any messages for our listeners? Beware of Caleb. He will fuck you, apparently. Get tested for STDs after that. Drink responsibly. (laughs) Don't drink uh, some McQueen. Eh. Man, we've been listening to music this whole time. I'd like to mix it a little bit. We're still going. Never ends. Yeah. Yeah. It is killer. This came on right as we were about to stop the fucking shit. Alright, catch you motherfuckers. Later.